watching Coach Prime's Playbook. Another guy who made the right choice a couple of times, Mikey Harrison. Thank you so much for joining us today. The two-point conversion to send it to overtime. Two touchdowns in overtime. Take us through that two-point conversion. Let's start there. I feel like such a high-pressure moment. Yeah, no, it was just um, a play that we've come back to a lot of times during uh, fall camp. Uh, we haven't ran in a couple of weeks, uh, last two games, but uh, we've ran it so many times during camp that uh, it was fluid right when uh, Coach Lewis called at the goal line. So um, everyone on the field knew how to execute it. We've done it 100 times. So we've been in that uh, situation multiple times in practice. So it uh, just felt like practice. You talk about being ready for the moment, yeah. staying ready. But, but, but how did you stay ready and then live up to the moment big time this game? I don't know. I just, I guess when I'm on the field, all I'm thinking about is doing my job. Uh, mm -hmm. We stepped up. I remember we stepped up to the whatever yard line, five yard line, and Savion looked to me and said, <laughs> let's, let's get this thing done, bro. Let's do, like, this is you right here. Right. I said, I got you, bro. Um, and then we snapped the ball um, and just got into the back of the end. Are you so, nervous, man? I'm just looking at you. Are you nervous right now? No. Yeah. Like, oh, you say, you're never like that. You're like the tentative, man. No. That's what I love about you. Let me tell you this. I'm sitting up there just going over the game film just slowly but surely, and you're doing your thing, and I'm happy. Why it seemed like when the ball touched your hands, your feet curl up to the back and you fall. I saw that. I saw that in the photo, in one of the photos. I don't know why. Like, but why? I don't know. I got to get that fixed, though. Please. That would be you. kind. I got you. I mean, it could be just a, 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 a dig route. In time you catch it, your feet come up. I got you. I'm like, why did he fall? He could have got like 10 I know, more. I know exactly which player you're talking about, too. Yes. I know exactly which player you're talking yeah. about. I'm going to get that. But thing. it's funny. Like I, and I was just rewinding. There's a little things coaches pick up on. Yeah. I'm just rewinding. Like, every time it touches his hand, his, 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 like his heels go <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Just get excited? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I know exactly what he's talking about. He's trying about. to protect the ball, too. I saw too. it on the film, too. And, uh, yeah. And Shador, it's you know, hard to watch. It's good because you're going to see more, a lot more of it because mm -hmm. Shador has a trust. Like, you know, when Shador like trusts you, he mm -hmm. knows the ball coming. Yeah. If he don't trust you, yeah. it's not coming. And he, he trusts him. You know, you know, Mikey, you lived through what, let, let's call it the exodus. We all right. know the famous speech, he's bringing his Louis Vuitton luggage, mm -hmm. but there was a piece of Louis here. But we talk a lot about the scholarship players that stayed. We don't always talk about the walk-on player that made it through. It feels like you had everything yeah. to prove. At that moment, right. when Coach said, I'm bringing my Louis, what was your mentality and how did you make it to this moment? I mean, I kind of anticipated that happening already. And um, I guess being a walk-on is all about just consistently bending on yourself. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember talking to my parents about all the things that were going on, and, and even they were telling me, like, all you've done this whole college career is bet on yourself, and um, people tell me you got an opportunity to play for uh, the greatest to do it, so why would you turn that down? And um, I listened to that and just fully embraced all of it, all the new coaches, so uh, that's just been my, my mentality. He didn't, he didn't flinch. One. It's a few of those guys that's still on the team now. They didn't flinch. Mm -hmm. They weren't going to let me run them off. They weren't going to let me just talk them out of it. Mm -hmm. They didn't flinch. But the thing was the consistency. Mm -hmm. They come to practice every day, and they compete with a level of consistency and productivity that you cannot ignore. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, you're going to say, all right, tell me about this guy right here. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Brew is, you know, selling them like a hot cake. You know, because <laughs> Brew loves his, his, his tight ends and receivers. They was fighting over him in the, in the war room. So he has been consistent. He works his butt off, and he's tough. Mm -hmm. From CBS Sports Colorado. This has been Coach Prime's Playbook with Romy Bean. Brought to you by the Wilhite Law Firm.